So today, we're gonna check out something which is still in very early development. And also, still very unstable. But it is really, really cool nonetheless. I was able to first check this out yesterday and it got me really excited. And even though it still has a long way to go before it can be casually used on a server, the fact that this is being made and people are working on it, that really excites me. Okay, so what am I talking about? Well, you've probably heard about Geyser MC. In case you've not, Geyser MC is a plugin and a mod too, which you can install on a Java Edition server, which then allows Bedrock Edition players to join that server. It is a project that allows for true crossplay between two completely different editions of this game. Now that is insane to think about on its own, but it's truly possible. And a lot of server owners nowadays decide to install Geyser MC. So players who can only play Minecraft on, for example, a console or mobile will be able to play together with Java edition players. It's mind blowing that it's even possible. And there's a big chance if you're watching this video, you've already heard about it before. With that being said though, Geyser MC definitely has some limitations, which prevent certain server owners from using Geyser MC. A great example of this is custom content. If you run a plugin based server with a plugin that adds custom content, like Nexo, Items Adder, or Orexon, then it's an immense hassle to get those custom textures to work on Bedrock Edition. It's such a hassle that most servers that support custom content decide to not install Geyser and support Bedrock. For most servers, it is one or the other. But the second big limitation is, of course, modded Minecraft servers. Let's say you run a fabric server and you decide to install some mods. And those mods happen to add some things to the game, like blocks or items or mobs. Then, as you might know, you will also need to install those mods on your clients. Otherwise, you won't be able to join the modded server. But this creates a problem. Minecraft Bedrock Edition can't install Java Edition mods. So even though Geyser is available for Fabric, as soon as the Fabric server has a mod that requires installation on the client side, Bedrock Edition players are, are, are kinda doomed. And exactly that is what this video and this project is about. It is called Hydraulic. It is made by the same people that are also behind Geyser MC, and it is a server-side mod which allows for Bedrock players to join modded Minecraft servers. Now that is crazy cool. Now the server-side mod is supposed to work alongside Geyser MC, so you will need both Geyser and Hydraulic installed on a single modded server. And like it says over here, this project is still in very early development. But watch this. I'm currently on a Minecraft server with both Geyser MC and Hydraulic installed. Like you will be able to see in my creative inventory, I've also installed another mod, Advanced Netherite, a mod recommended by one of Hydraulic's developers because supposedly it worked pretty well with the mod. And I can confirm it does. So Advanced Netherite adds a bunch of extra Netherite tools. We got some extra ingots, we got some extra armor, we got some regular tools and then also some Netherite blocks. Pretty cool stuff, nothing too special, but let's just, let's just place down some of these blocks over here. There we go. There is one and there is one. But now let's switch to Bedrock Edition. Let's join the same Geyser MC enabled server we were just in. Like you can see, I'm able to join with no issue whatsoever. And when I now teleport my Bedrock Edition to my Java Edition account, and I look around, you can see that it works. These are the advanced netherite blocks. They, they are they are just there. <laughs> if I click middle mouse button while looking at this block, it will go to my inventory. And there it is, the block of netherite emerald. One of the blocks added by advanced netherite. Should I make it even better? When I open my creative inventory and I scroll down to the bottom, here they are. These are the blocks that this mod adds. <laughs> netherite emerald sword, it is just there. I can use it. Netherite emerald chest plate. Don't look at my skin, but there we go. I can wear it, no problem whatsoever. If that isn't awesome, I don't know what is. Now, does this mean everything is perfect? No. <laughs> no, it's not. When I get a regular netherite pickaxe and I try to break this block, you can see that it almost breaks and then... And then nothing. <laughs> nothing happens. When I grab a netherite diamond pickaxe and I try to break, like, stone, regular stone, you can see it's, it's pretty rough. <laughs> I mine a bit 
And then when it's halfway there, it just breaks. It is safe to say a bit glitchy. But like I just mentioned, this is still in very early development and it's very unstable and it's more of a proof of concept than an actual thing you can use. But oh boy, concept it is proving because this is awesome. <laughs> now, because I personally think this is a really exciting project, and I'm sure you guys will agree, I'm now gonna show you how to actually get this all working. But again, do keep in mind that everything you see here is in very early development. And it's not like you can just make a Minecraft server with a big mod pack and then expect your better condition players to just be able to play along. The majority of mods will simply not work yet. What I just showed you is a very simple mod that adds some new blocks to the game and basically does nothing more. At the time of making this video, entities don't work at all yet, so custom mobs simply won't appear. I tried this earlier today, I installed the friends and foes mod, and all of the mobs that mod added were simply invisible on bedrock edition, but they could still damage my bedrock account. So yeah, that definitely doesn't work yet. Again, early development, kind of a proof of concept, but if you want to try it and check it out for yourself, let me show you how to do that. So first, make sure you're running a Fabric server. I'm going to show you how to set up Fabric in this video, but I have a bunch of tutorials here on the channel, so go and check those out if you don't know how to create one. After that, the easiest way to do this is simply join the Geyser MC Discord. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. And over there, you want to go to the CI Feeds channel under the Feeds category. In there, you will see new updates and new releases, and among them, there are also hydraulic releases. So here we got one. This is the latest one as of making this video. If you're watching this in a few months, then there might be a new one for you. Simply scroll up until you find the latest one. It's available for Fabric and Neoforge. I'm going to go for Fabric myself. So I'm simply going to click here and the download will then immediately start. After that, you want to go to the Geyser MC GitHub page. And I will leave a link to this page in the description down below. And over here, you simply want to scroll down all the way until you find the custom item API version 2. This this one you want to click on and do make sure you're logged into a github account if you're not logged into an account you won't be able to do this so log into an account you already have or simply make a new one and after that you want to go to checks and under checks you want to click on artifacts and there you want to choose geyser fabric or neoforge if that is the route you decided to take so simply click to download and after that we're simply going to go to geysermc.org because over here we still need to download floodgate we already have a version of geyser now so simply download the fabric version of floodgate as well now as for the mod Test anything you like. Advanced Netherite is just a good example because it is a relatively simple mod which adds some new items and blocks and it perfectly showcases what Hydraulic is capable of. Many other mods might not work, but you can always give them a shot. But I'm just gonna download this one, which means I also need to install Resourceful Lip and yet another Config Lip. And of course, if you're using Fabric, you also want to download the Fabric API. Now, if you're following this video step by step, you should now have a total of seven files. The fabric version of Floodgate, Hydraulic, then a zip file called Geyser Fabric, which simply contains the Geyser Fabric jar file. Just unzip it though, we just need the .jar. And then in my case, I get Advanced Netherite, and then it's three dependencies. Again, if you want to try this with another mod, do your thing. This is just one that kind of works, so it's good to show it off. So now we're going to add all seven files to the mods folder of our Minecraft server. Now give the server a quick little restart, and after that, to properly set up Floodgate, you want to go to the config folder, then open open the floodgate folder and inside of there the key.pem file you want to copy and then we're going to paste it inside of the geyser fabric folder drag it in there it is and you're good to go also check the config file because of course you want to make sure you have the right port set up i'm using 256a2 because when i go to management and then network 256a2 is a second allocation i have available on this server just choose whatever second port you got and then when you fill in the right IP and right port inside of Bedrock Edition, we can join, it will allow us in, and we're ready to go. Go have fun with this. This is a really cool concept. And even though the majority of mods will still not work, and there is still a long way to go before Hydraulic can actually be used by casual players, the fact that some level of compatibility is already possible is just great. And I'm really, really excited to see how this project is gonna develop, and what it will look like in, let's say, one or two years. If any big changes happen along the way i'll keep you guys updated and yeah definitely give it a shot it's cool and that's gonna be it for today do make sure to subscribe to my channel join my discord thank you so much channel members and then i'll see you in the next one bye bye see you later bye bye